All right, what is going on, guys? Baseball Cards 211 here. Um, I'm going to be showing some recent acquisitions. Uh, sorry, it's been, uh, I think, two weeks since my last video is the Kofax. So, um, kind of a big card, but I have got uh, four PSA graded cards. Um, four PSA graded uh, vintage baseball cards for different aspects of my collection in in the past uh, week or so, past two weeks. Um, but so yeah, I'm gonna be showing you guys them. So I hope you enjoy. So first we got us right here, a 1972 uh, Topps Rookie Stars, Red Sox Rookie Stars. And obviously the star on this card is the guy on the far right, Carlton Fisk. Um, great, great catcher. Had a great career for my favorite team, the Boston Red Sox. And another great career with the other Sox team, the White Sox. Um, the guy in the middle, Cecil Cooper, he had a decent career himself. Um, this one's graded at PSA um, VG3. It's in the brand new PSA Light House holder. It looks really nice. Um, it looks pretty sharp for the grade. I think the main thing that got it off, it's off center left to right, which is common for 70s cards. But this is for my Hall of Fame rookies. And you guys, um, if you don't have this card in your collection already and you like collecting like vintage uh, Hall of Fame rookie cards, uh, this one is a very good one to get now. It's pretty affordable. Like I think this card probably cost me like uh, maybe like $12, $13 with like shipping. So um, that's pretty cheap for a Hall of Fame rookie card, especially of a great like Carlton Fisk and... Just considering that it's that's less than it costed to get the card graded, so you can't really go wrong with that. And uh, real quickly, here's the back of the card for you guys here wondering what that looks like. It's just got a little info about the guys. Uh, sorry about the lighting glare there. All right. Um, okay. So <clears throat> next, let me see. I'm gonna probably have to readjust this a little bit. Uh, maybe uh, we'll see. Let me just see how this will fit here. All right, yeah, we're going to zoom out a little. Get this in. There we go. All right, sorry about that. Here we go. Um, this is a 1963 Topps Lou Brock. Graded a very good to excellent four by PSA. Um, surprisingly, my first 1963 Topps card in my collection. Love that set. It's beautiful. Um, I like how they had the two images, kind of like in 1960 tops, how they had like a photo of them and then an action photo, and I call the action photo. The red really pops out on it. Uh, this is Lou Brock's uh, second year card. His rookie was a 1962 tops. Um, let me see here. Here's the back, guys. I'll just show you that. Uh, I really like the back. It's got a nice little cartoon um, about Lou Brock stealing bases which he is very well known for. And so here's a final look at the card. Look, another nice looking card for the grade. Um, really nice eye appeal. Like, really nice eye appeal, really sharp. So there's that. Um, next, love this card. One of the 300 great baseball cards of the 20th century by Mike Payne for that set registry. And I'm kind of working on a little bit here and there. It's a beautiful card. Great picture, first, my first card of this guy, a 1952 Topps Bob Feller. It's also in the new Lighthouse holder, great, a very good three, and I mean, well, I'll just show the back real quick, but what can I really say about this card, guys? Um, it's just really, it's the back, really nice red back, uh, but what else can I really say about this card? Um, Absolutely beautiful, stunning card. I mean, 1952 tops, just a legendary set, guys. Um, this one, it's pretty nice. I mean, it's got its flaws. It's got some a little, see kind of here. It's got like kind of like a black printing dot on the surface, and then it's off center, top to bottom. But just a really nice card, guys. Bob Feller, um, one of the greatest pitchers of all time. One of the first kind of hard throwing pitchers, um, but just great guys. Had a great career for the Cleveland Indians. 
Um, but this is just beautiful. I love the yellow background. I love how happy Bob Feller looks in this picture. Just a great smile. Um, I love everything about it. Just the great vintage look of the 1952 tops. Everything about it is awesome, and I love this card. So that is the 1952 tops. Bob Feller created a PSA. Very good three. And then my final card for today, for all you guys who enjoy the pre-war stuff, here's a Hall of Famer. Another one for my T206 Hall of Fame collection, Frank Chance. This one is graded a very good three. It has a Marks qualifier. I'll show you that in a second. But so T206, it has a sweet capital back, 350 uh, subjects, factory 30. And it's his yellow portrait. He also has a red portrait. This one looks very, very clean. Uh, let me see. So you can see right here. I'll just bring it up for you. It's got a pencil mark. Which to me, I don't really care about that much. It's pretty slight. You don't really notice. Um, let me zoom out now. It's great. Looks great for the great, great card for being, um, being over 100 years old. It just looks great. It looks really stunning. I mean, it's even... I think that's still here today to be in this nice shape um, to make it that far without getting um, complete damage is just absolutely amazing. Uh, the back, sweet capital cigarettes, very clean and very nice. So there you have it, T206, Frank Chance, yellow portrait, great a PSA, very good three with a marks qualifier. So anyways, you guys, um, that is uh, just four nice PSA graded baseball cards, all for different aspects of my collection. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm going to be trying to upload more frequently, more consistently for you guys. I appreciate all the feedback, comments, likes, subscribes, subscriptions, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. Um, so thank you for all that. But anyways, uh, take care. Have a good day. And I'll see you in my next video. And thanks again for watching. I appreciate it as always.